What is up, everybody? Back home. It is the evening. I drove. I rode for most of the last night, and I drove the last few hours home. I'm beat. I actually did some stuff today, and basically just went like some grocery shop and ran some errands, and I came home just to nap because I like slept for like four hours maybe. Anyways. We'll get to it. Nationals recap. Wow. Just like every year, my voice is shot. A lot of this. Because I'm super pumped when I get there and it just, I never stop. <laughs> By the way, my phone blows up during this time. I mean, I there's never, like, it's like every five minutes, whoop, something's going off of my phone. It's just, it is like, it is like central. I'm like the hub. <laughs> Um, but there's some, the cards I want to show. Um, ever put this in my way, a little Hall of Fame, Paul Horning, top 60th. He put this in a baseball card. Kinsler, Cabrera, J.D. Martinez, and Justin Upton. Triple patch, Tigers card. Thanks, Everett. Uh, Ben Quigley. Uh, through this my way, Topps Chrome Mini. I think I have the 25 versions of this, so this might might be new. I don't know. I have like two of the 25s. So Aaron Rodgers Topps Chrome Mini insert out of 50. Um. Wow, I have more stuff than this. But I just gotta find an order into it. Um. BGS slabbed authentic cards. How about that? That's a cool start. We start off right away. Turn around real fast. Um, last year's national. I had this printy plate on me. Garrett uh, had the pen, and I met Paul Horning in the bar, and it slabbed authentic. What? A, and I think that these are things that are the greatest price because it's, I think it cost me twenty bucks to do this for this player. So, authentic PC item. Um, I put it back in the bag for now until I get my perfect fits on it. Um, I literally just, it's just going to be no mags yet because I haven't even done it yet. I've just been like doing cards. And then uh, Atlantic City. I got this at the National there. Slabbed it authentic. Now, it was already JSA before, um, but I wanted it in the Beckett slab. Because JSA, I guess, doesn't do it anymore or whatever. So, and it's to Joe. I bought that from a random dude. It happens to be inscribed to Joe. So, it worked perfect. That was a tough year for Bart Starr for me, then. So, that was like the one of the only things that I got. But, you always have low expectations. You never get disappointed. So, where to start? I will... S oh, Jeez, I um I don't know who gave me this. Or is this from before? Anyways, just a Bart Star. This might be Luke's one he gave to me the other day, I'm not sure. I think so. But it was in my pile, I have to go to my after I mag it, it goes into the base and insert box. Um okay. Mr. Let's do Mr. Brian Roth. B Roth six, I believe. Um, one of the highlights of that is go sub to him. Go look at the videos of his stuff. Um, really a highlight of my Nats. Um, I knew him before. Get it? Got to know him a lot better this year. A one, kind of a guy. I think he's the most genuine genuine person that I've met and he's you know him and Michael Shane were that's how they I know him through Michael Shane and they were excellent all week long um, I couldn't wait to hang out with those guys and you branch out and I'm getting into some vintage um, and he and Brian knew that and he found this in a box and there's no way I would have found this because I'm looking at I don't have time to look through boxes and stuff um, I'm looking at showcases. Um, he found this just randomly going through something, and he thought of me, 
And this is the nicest seven example I've ever seen in my life of this card. I think the only reason why I got a seven because it's off centered, but it's not even terrible. This is the nicest. I mean, this should be an eight in my opinion. Um, it is so clean. The corners are they would they would cut you like a knife. Um, but this nice seventy one. I'm just, horrible lighting. I'm sorry, but it's a seventy one. He just hands that to me. He found it. Um, I'll have to look out something for you uh, in the future. But it's hard to do collectors uh, like him because he has got a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's got a lot of stuff. Of his player was just Hank Greenberg. So you, you, you do your best. And he did his best and found... This is amazing. The sharpest, the sharpest seven I've ever seen. I can compare it to some one of my eight PSA eight cards, and this one out does it. I mean, I think it got a raw deal. But anyways, thank you, Brian, and go watch his videos. He had some amazing things happen at nationals, and I said it. There's always one person where it's just it's their time, and it was his national. I'm so happy for him. Um, Thank you for making my national. Just amazing people. Um, and it really gets down to just a few cards after this, right? Um, uh, other BGS results. I did my 101, and I missed something on the surface, obviously, on this card, but it is okay. Um, it would take a while, it would take a big jump for it to make a 9.5, but it slabbed. It's got the 10 auto. It is okay since it's PC. I'm not trying to increase the value on it. I'm just trying to encapsulate it. If it gemmed, more power to it. But if it doesn't, it is okay because it's PC. You know, and there's my Bard Star 101. And it's terrible lighting. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to move this. Give me one sec. Maybe, oh, I don't know how better this is going to be, but. Oh, better. I can see a lot better. Um, you can see where it got uh, hammered on the surface. So I missed something on the surface. There might be a mark or something. I haven't gone over it like completely hard. That was terrible. <laughs> Disregard. I haven't gone over it completely. Not completely hard. It was gem or pristine. No, I may, it might be completely hard. Bad jokes. Okay, okay. I'll stop. But anyways, so that's my one-on-one. Still happy. Um, I did grade... Uh, a Topps Chrome Mini Randall Cobb Super Fractor Auto. Um, didn't make it, but that's off to Luke at the moment to do what I call his magic. Gonna try it. It was only one subgrade up. He's probably just gonna snap it and, and look through anything that, that I missed on the surface or whatever it is and resubmit it. And I will pay him accordingly. Uh, it's not, it's, it's just something that we do. Um, Got in early to the show as a dealer. Yeah, right, you can see, I just have connections. And I, and I branch out as many connections as I always can. Um, speaking of before I mentioned, I mentioned Brian Roth before, he's a guy I could go to about a lot of vintage stuff and then that he knows. He's another person, if I had to bounce something off him, I could go to him. So it's just another, another person that uh, you could really lean on and something like that. If I ever have any questions on vintage, and I have a couple vintage guys, and I don't go into things willy-nilly, or I usually, if I need advice on something, I bounce things off many people in the hobby, because um, I am, I'm, I'm sorry about the lighting here, but I, I am good at a few things, and as far as Bart Star Vintage stuff, I'm just starting in on it. Just getting to know. Um, there's some people with tons of knowledge out there. They're awesome. Um, aside from that, we'll get into the rest of the stuff before I hold you up. Um, it was another fantastic Bart Star year. Um, I got... I At BGS, I had, per, I had traded for a, a Pros and Prospects Bart Star. Um... I, I had it slab right away. 
cost me 50 bucks. I was pretty sure on it. It was the one that I didn't think would make it compared to the three, and it's the one that made it. Um, and go to Everett's videos about, I'm, I'm not sure if they're even up yet, but uh, I read some raw review stuff for him, and I was spot on. So um, I think I have it. Um, I think I'm close in a lot of things, and but I miss things. But anyways, that one gemmed. The pros and process that I just traded for just before nationals. So I got in a deal for these two. I paid 250 in cash and that gem card, which I was now 200 into, to get this one, 20 out of 25, all on sticker before I get in the mag. And there's some just dust on the holder. Uh, but a duel from Limited, 09 Limited, of course, of Billy Houghton. And bar star on the bottom. And the great thing about this card, I've seen many times this card, but it's usually off sticker on the bar star. And I see that it is very on sticker for that amazing card. Um, so I did this in 250 cash for this card. Good start. And this wonderful card, one out of 16, which I've never seen before. Another limited card from 05 Limited. It's just it's just what it is, and it has a little smooch in the autograph down here, um, but a rare rare star one out of sixteen uh, autograph. It goes. It stays on card, but there's a smooch by the T. There's a smooch. It like um, I'm not sure. It looks like it happened. During the signing process, I don't think it's someone who did it afterwards. I don't think. Um, it would take a lot. But this is Jersey Auto out of 16. And I don't know what the 16 represents, but I I have not looked it up. I have not done my, done my research because he played. his number was 15. Um, but I think it is for number of seasons he played. Guessing. not. I don't know how many seasons he played, but it's just a guess. Because they use it for something. It means something. Um, I only got a few minutes left, but this is this card was from RBI Crew Seven. I waited and waited, waited, finally picked it up Sunday. I says I'm not going home with this rarity. Print run to ten. Uh, there is no numbering on it, but it's a print run to ten. Um, it's a beautiful uh, 2010 contender Super Bowl auto it's from Super Bowl One. Bart Star goes a little off sticker by the B and the S, so it does. Yeah, it is. But the rarity was there. I had an option to get a different card. And I decided to get this one just because of the rarity. Um, so another huge, huge one for the star collection. And this last one, I have two minutes. And this one needs the two minutes. Um, it's just awesome. Tuesday, I'm in with the dealers. Dealers. And Everett says he just finds his table, but he never texts me. I'm like, show me where this table is right now <laughs> i need to know he said oh i see that three color bart star and he's like what i don't know if he knows the three colors to a pack collector are out of this world uh, over this insane over the top but they are and he says i said show me where this table is and number 13 out of 15 the highlight of my show three color patch auto or patch auto from 06 Limited. Look at Limited. There he is. This card is nuts. There is a little, they did the stamp right here for the authentic autograph. So there's a little, it's like it took away part of the autograph on the A. But it does not matter. This card is nuts. This card has been one of my favorite pickups in a long, long time. Um, Thank you, Everett, for finding this table. <laughs> I was so happy. And the price that I got it at, I ran out of there. The happiest dude in the planet. I worked this guy over on this card, I think. Check that stuff out, dude. It was bought in a collection. I got two of those stars that you just seen was from that same table. So it was one table for me, basically. Touchdown. That was Nat's. And that's in a nutshell. There was more stuff that going on. I'm going to talk later about it, but my video is about to stop because I only do 15 minutes at a time for my phone for whatever reason. I will get back to you soon. Love you guys. See ya.